Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share with you everything that I've ever learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. It's the channel where new hosts come to learn how to become great hosts, even super hosts. This week's episode is the first of a three-part series all about how to avoid the worst guests and attract the best ones. It's based on my proven two-step method that I use every day with my guests. I believe that it has saved me from hosting literally hundreds of undesirable guests over the years. It's how I've attracted reservations from some of the best guests on Airbnb. And I'm talking about guests with well over 100 five-star reviews. And those are the guests that you want to be hosting. I detail my entire method in the ultimate guide to avoiding the worst guests, which is posted on my website and I'll link to it in the description down below. Avoiding the worst guests and attracting the best ones involves three major parts. The first is your hosting stats, and we're going to talk about that today. The next part is to create a strong set of house rules, which will be the topic for next week's episode. And the last part is having strategies in place to deal with inquiries and requests from guests that you do not want to host. And we'll go over that in two weeks time. So let's get into today's topic, basic hosting stats. We, we've got to understand how your listing is appearing to guests when they're searching for a place to stay. And I'll show you what actions that you can take today to improve your visibility so that your listing is front and center for guests. And we'll start with the answer to a basic question. Why do some listings appear first when a guest is searching for accommodation while others never seem to get past the third, the fourth, or maybe even the 10th page of search results? Well, the quick answer to this is your hosting stats. Airbnb collects a number of statistics about how you operate as a host. They then use these statistics to determine where you're going to rank when a user searches for a place to stay. If you have high hosting statistics, then you're going to place high in search. And if you have low hosting statistics, then you're going to rank somewhere on the third or the fourth or maybe the 10th page, depending on how competitive your local area is. As I said, there are many hosting statistics and I'll get into more of them in a future video. But for right now, it's important to know about two key hosting statistics. The first is your acceptance rate, and the second is your response time. So if we look at acceptance rate, that one's pretty simple. It's how many requests you accept versus how many you decline. And you might be thinking, this is so not fair because you're only getting requests from guests that you don't wanna host. And that is where the two-step method comes in. The other key metric is response time. And Airbnb is measuring how quickly you respond to inquiries and requests. When it's an inquiry, i.e. you see decline or pre-approve, all you have to do in this situation is respond to a guest. And the response time is measured on the first reply. It doesn't matter how quickly you get back to guests after the first reply. The second type, an inquiry, the response time is calculated when you click accept or decline. So in this situation, you can't just write back to the guest. You actually have to click accept or decline. And you definitely do not want to let these expire. So at this point, you might be saying, Matt, how do I find my hosting statistics? And all you have to do to find them is be logged into Airbnb under the hosting mode, 
Then click Progress, Opportunities, scroll down just a little bit, and here you will see your hosting stats. Now you'll probably notice that one of the most important hosting stats is missing, and that is your response time. To get to your response time, you click Listing, then Preview Listing, and you scroll to the bottom. Oops, it has to load first. Scroll to the bottom. Keep scrolling, scroll, scroll. And right here at the very bottom, you see your response rate and time, 100% within an hour. And that's what you're striving for. Quickly, before we sign off, let's recap this week's episode. We've answered the question of why some listings appear at the top of search while others don't. I showed you why it's so important to reply to guests as quickly as possible. And then I showed you exactly how to monitor your key hosting stats on Airbnb. Come back next week when I'll uncover why host rules are so important. All too often, I see listings without a single additional house rule listed. There's a space on Airbnb to add your own rules, so be sure to make use of that space. I'm going to share with you what I think are some of the must-have house rules. But for this week, let's just focus on replying to guests as quickly as possible and monitor your hosting stats. If you're diligent with your replies, you're quickly going to see your hosting stats improve and consequently, your search ranking is going to move up as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click on the notification bell so that you're alerted when I post a new video. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week when we talk about everything house rules. <laughs>